Do you see reams of thread tied on the trunk or the banyan tree behind me? Well, this is associated with the ritual of Vata Purnima, which is followed by several women across India. In this episode, I'm going to tell you about this ritual related to the banyan tree. If you have seen women in India worshipping trees like this or seen reams of thread tied around tree trunks and wondered what it is all about, this video will give you an answer. Every year on the day of Vata Purnima, which falls around May or June, women worship the banyan tree and pray for the long lives of their husbands. But why the banyan tree? And what's the banyan got to do with one's husband's long life? So, here's the story behind the ritual. In the formal study of mythology and legend, there is a theory called the myth ritual theory which was put forward by James Fraser. According to this theory, myths don't stand by themselves but are tied to rituals. And so also the reverse, that rituals are often accompanied by myths. So, this is the ritual. What is the story behind it? To find the foundation, one must go back to the longest story ever told. The Mahabharata. In the epic, there is a story about Savitri, a young woman whose husband Satyavan died under a banyan tree. Determined to bring him back to life, Savitri begins to argue with Yamraj, the god of death, who has come to take Satyavan's soul to the next world. Following behind Yama, Savitri has a long debate with Yama. Impressed with her, Yama praises her and offers her a boon. Anything, he says, except the life of Satyavan. Savitri then asks for eyesight for her blind father-in-law and that his lost kingdom be restored. Then she asks for a hundred sons for her father and finally a hundred sons for herself and Satyavan. The last wish has Yama in a fix. But so impressed is he by Savitri's dedication that he offers her one more boon and this time he doesn't exclude the life of Satyavan. Savitri then asks that Satyavan be returned to life. Yama grants Satyavan his life and blesses Savitri with eternal happiness. After this, Satyavan wakes up under the banyan tree as if he has been in a long, deep sleep. In memory of this legend, married women circumambulate the banyan tree on Vata Purnima in the Jesht month, which falls somewhere around May or June, to pray for the long life of their husbands in honour of Savitri, who was able to bring her dead husband back to life. The tree under which the dramatic event of Satyavan coming back to life is believed to have occurred has become symbolic of the story and sentiment. Hence, to this day, reciting the story of Vata Purnima, several women across India worship the banyan with fasting and prayer for the long life of their husbands. To many modern minds, this may seem like a regressive practice. But before passing judgment, let's think back to a time when the life of a widow was really harsh and brutal. Who wouldn't want to escape that kind of misery? The practice continues in large parts of India even today and the story in the Mahabharata is the basis for that. And that is exactly why it is said that India is one of the only places in the world where an ancient civilization and culture continues to live on. If you learn something about trees from this episode, do take a look at some of the other episodes on this channel. You'll find episodes on how to identify trees, some interesting ones on fig trees, the family to which the banyan belongs, and many others as well. Do check them out, share this with your friends, and subscribe to stay posted.